The clouds carry chills that spill throughout the trees, bringing in heavy seas. Storms that won't leave us be, subpolar westerlies, never seem to be at ease. But please, just listen to the words that I speak from my beak as we trek on up the troposphere. The trades exchange waves and smiles discreet till we hit the boundary where the trope meets the strat and we must take pause because it all just flows and flows and flows and flows while the wind just blows the answer far, far away. Now, I wouldn't really say this represents the day to day, more like a way to play it out within the constraints of time, real time, no bill, no bull. Don't feel no bull to build cities underneath the towering clouds of divine retribution. Who's choosing the source? Why, you, of course. Volcanic explosions lead to widespread commotion. And all those aerosols are bound to make our hair go soft. Oh, fire, fire, fire on the mountain. But nary a begonia to be found along the ground. So come on, gather round all across this aching land while ye still can. And let us discuss the matters which we must. First up. A little thing known as radiative forcing or the difference between the energy that we're absorbing and that which we have launched out out into space like a shuttle not too subtle like the scuttle but and let's get into what is meant by this here chart because surely this ain't modern art as it seems to lack the punch of Basque or Edvar Munch and besides I've got a hunch that it's trying to tell us something of importance so kick back your Jordans and take a seat so we can see just what it all means well to begin, there are a couple different gases, those that warm and those that cool. And we produce them both like, listen up folks, here's where it gets a little tricky. Things get sticky. You might think I'm trying to trick thee, but I'm not. It's just a greenhouse gases make it hot. But think back to the smokestacks, the sulfur they emit takes a trip to the sun and then reflects its light right back to space, which actually makes the case that this aerosol pollution serves a very small solution to all this warming because it makes it cool, not cool, cool, but a little chilly. You feel me? It offsets, but not enough. And enough is what we happen to be in dire need of that a whole lot of love from above, if you're into that. 